Hello, this is Michael from Trike Bike and welcome to this short presentation on assembling the ice cream tricycle. The first thing we need to do is to lay out and identify all of the parts. So if we run through it quickly, here we've got the uh, disc brake calipers, plastic plugs for sealing off the frame. We have reflectors for the wheels, some little bump stops for the steering. Here are cables for the um, front brakes. These are the discs for the front brakes. Now the most important part is the main axle, seat post, pedals. Here we have an assortment of nuts, bolts, washers, and it's always best if you can lay these out into little piles and it makes it so much easier for you. This is a close up of the disc brakes which get fitted to the wheel rims. Here's a positional photo of the main axle assembly. This is what joins the um, freezer frame to the bike frame. And we'll go through that a little bit later. Some more photographs of the different hardware. This is the main um, freezer frame. The part that we're looking at here is the center. So on this side and also on the back side is a machined pipe or tube and in this is where the bearings go to join the assemblies. These tabs hanging down there's some on this side and on this side are what hold the, um, the front wheels. This is a close up of the um, assembly where the main axle goes through that has been machined. In this case you can see a little bit of paint and a little bit of grease in there to stop any corrosion prior to assembly. The first thing we need to do is find our bearings. Now this is a bearing here on the right hand side in its normal position. It doesn't have any grease on it. Before putting it into the trike, however, you're required to grease it. And we use a, um, a stick um, to put grease on and, and you pack it in, wind it around and around and around till everything is greased up. Now you'll see this is a taper bearing. So it's wider at this end than it is at that end. And if you look at the ring that it sits into, it's quite narrow at this end, but it's thicker at the base. This is called a taper bearing, and it's really important that these are assembled in the uh, correct way. So here we are just tapping the ring of the roller bearing into the frame. Now it's important I'm using a, a very soft hammer to do this. Um, I would suggest using a piece of wood if you want to tap it in like we're showing here, or you can use a bearing puller if you have access to it. When the ring is inserted, however, it's tapered, so it'll only go in one way and work properly. So the thin end of the taper is pointing to the outside, the thick end is inside this tube at the moment, and that points to the inside of the, um, of the fitting. If you get that wrong, you'll have to tap it out and put it in another way. These are the little rubber stoppers which go on the poles on the end of the, um, the frame. This helps stop you from oversteering. This is the disc part of the brake system and it goes onto the two front wheels. If you look here, there's a little direction arrow. So you want to fit this correctly in the, in the direction of rotation. It's not extremely important, but um, you know, it's there for a reason. So we follow the instructions. We now have this all mounted up nice and firm. So we've got the six screws. The disc is then held firmly against the rim and we now go and position it in the frame and drop it in place. So on this, you've got a safety washer, a washer, and then a nut. And on the other side, you've got exactly the same. You can see here the safety washer gets positioned into a hole in the frame. Then you've got your normal washer, then a nut. Now you leave this finger tight for now because when you flip the frame over and gravity is pushing it down, then you'll go ahead and tighten the wheels correctly. These are your front 
disc brake calipers. So left hand side, right hand side, and you've got four screws. Two are used in each. So you can see the holes here and here, here and just hidden behind the end there. And here they are in place. Now they'll only go one way. So if you have a bit of a play and can't get it to fit, try it on the other side. Bolt goes through, holds everything in place. There's a little nut behind here and one down here, which are left loose for now, and you tighten them up later in the assembly. Now we have the freezer frame turned over. We've got the wheels in position, so now there's a bit of gravity on them. We can go ahead and tighten these nuts on, on both sides of the wheels. We've also got our little rubber stoppers on the end, and uh, this will stop the trike frame from getting, sorry, the freezer frame from getting damaged. Here's another shot showing it here. You'll see I've got the bearings, just the outers, the ring of the bearing in position on the top and also on the bottom. Now we get the bicycle frame and we insert the main axle from the bottom up through the frame. And this is where the bearings will go in this position here. So, to stop it all falling out, I just use some tape and tape over the bottom. That keeps everything together while it's being assembled. We now place the first bearing on. You can see there it's all nicely greased and it's going to last for years without any problems. We slide the freezer frame over the axle and let it come down and it will sit in the taper and everything will be nice and, uh, and correctly positioned. On the top here, we can see there's no bearing in here yet, so everything's open and loose. And here we are sliding the grease bearing into the fitting. So the bearing races there, the ring, and everything goes down on top. That's roughly the correct position that it should be in when it's uh, ready to have the um, rest of the assembly done. So the first thing we put on is a washer. Then we put on this little cap nut and that's tightened using a C-spanner, or you can very, very carefully use a screwdriver and a hammer just to gently tap in these little notches to get it all up nice and tight. This needs to be really firm. And then finally, the large nylon nut goes on top, and this locks everything together um, in its permanent position. So you can see here the assembly, we have the axle coming up through the bicycle frame, it then goes through the freezer frame. We have a washer, the little cap nut, which goes on, on top here, which screws around. And then we have the nylon nut on top of that. Here's a better shot close up of it. Once you're finished, you can go ahead and wipe all the extra grease off so it doesn't attract any uh, dust and dirt. Next step is fitting the pedals. We use a 15 millimeter spanner for doing this. The pedals are marked left and right. It's important that you follow the uh, correct uh, requirements for fitting. And the little plastic end caps just go in the bottom of the freezer frame. A lot of people don't do this step, they leave them out, but we fit them. And you'll see here there's an end cap here, an end cap here, and then there's the same on the other side. So looking at the other direction. We can now put the base into the freezer frame. A little screw goes through, so there's a screw in every corner and one halfway down the, um, the, um, the frame itself. Once the base is um, mounted correctly, we can then go ahead and put in the wooden box. So the wooden box is closest to the, the rest of the frame. You can see here, we can see the battery. And this box is secured with four um, bolts on each side of the frame. So one, two, three, and four. And then over here, we've got one, two, three, and four. Now it's really important when these bolts are in place not to over tighten them. If you do over tighten them, you will actually crack the wood because you're pulling the wood apart. So the idea with these bolts is to just do them up so they're sort of 
firm but not too tight. Every frame is marginally different and it may be that you need to put a little packer like a washer um, in there to take up any, any looseness but that's, it's normal just to have them done up firm. This is what is facing the rider so here is the uh, brackets for the handlebars and this is the door which enables you to open it up and get into the, um, the fridge freezer section where you've got all of your battery etc. Here are the four screws again that hold that uh, box in place. We've now fitted the seat post. So the seat post goes in, the seat goes on top and then the nuts on either side are tightened. We've now fitted the handlebars. So the handlebars, they join in the middle up the top and then they slide down on each side. We just slide them down so they're level with the bottom, bottom and then tighten up these uh, little locking nuts on the side. Sometimes these hang out a little bit too far and can catch on things like people walking past and so on. So we sometimes uh, will cut them off and make them a little bit shorter, but it's not necessary for you to do that. Here's a good close up photo. Now on this, this is actually just showing a little bit of damage. That's why the photograph is there. But up in this position here, we've got the, um, the handle of the fridge. Now there's instructions in there and there's a couple little dents already in the fridge and that's where the screws get fitted for the uh, lid of the freezer. So you can open and close the freezer. And that's about it. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. Enjoy.